It was the late British Prime Minister, statesman and Nobel laureate Sir Winston Leonard Churchill who said it is wonderful what great strides can be made when there is resolute purpose behind them. For decades, the Tertiary Education Trust Fund, TED Fund, has not only been providing requisite infrastructure and equipment to enhance learning, but also sponsoring copious research and training for staff across all public tertiary institutions' spectrum. As a matter of proven fact, many stakeholders in the education sector have been loading the efforts of TED Fund ceaselessly over the years. As a diligent agency of government, the Fund is always seeking ways of improving the delivery of sound education in our tertiary institutions, which is in line with President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's mission of ensuring that Nigeria's education curriculum conforms with emerging global best practices and current socio-economic realities. It is therefore in line with the President's determined goal of reforming the education sector that the Honorable Minister of Education, Professor Tahim Mangman, a senior advocate of Nigeria SAN and officer of the Order of the Niger OON, recently launched the well thought out, long overdue, and first of its kind tertiary education research applications and services, TERAS, sponsored by the Tertiary Education Trust Fund, TED Fund. Making his remarks at the epoch making occasion attended by major stakeholders in the education sector, the minister who had earlier had a first-hand experience of being admitted on the Terrace platform said he was quite impressed with the underpinning technology which guided the birth of Terrace, stressing that there was no doubt that a lot of work and expertise went into its design and implementation. He said the ministry will keep providing beneficiary tertiary institutions and TED Fund with the requisite support to fully harness all the benefits of Terrace, which he described as a key component of repositioning, strengthening and rekindling hope in Nigeria's tertiary education space. The technology and the peering Terrace is a testament to the careful expertise in its design and implementation. The Ministry on its part will continue to provide our beneficial institutions and tech firms with unwavering support to fully realize the potential of terrors. The Minister noted that he was keenly aware of the challenges facing the education sector as a whole and assured everyone that his ministry is taking decisive steps to tackling them. I am informed that our regulatory agencies, that is, the National Universities Commission, National Board for Technical Education, National Commission for Education, all made immeasurable contributions to this endeavor. Your presence on the technical committees established for Terras and your input along with that of the institutional representatives Notably, NITDA, NCC, Galaxy Park One, TXC, etc., will ensure that the platform will grow and benefit millions of our students and staff. As the end users of these services, I implore you to utilize them diligently for us. Advancement of tertiary education in the country. Speaking earlier, Ted Fund's Executive Secretary, architect Sony STA Chono, described the unveiling of terrors as a noteworthy achievement and a turning point in Nigeria's tertiary education story. The Executive Secretary said the onslaught of COVID-19 did a lot of harm to the education sector, but that the pandemic indeed served as a catalyst for the government to galvanize the Ministry of Education to swiftly set groundbreaking policies and directives in motion in order to mitigate further disruptions in the sector. Those initial steps taken then have now today morphed into terrors. Today marks a significant moment in the history of Nigerian tertiary education. We gather here to present to Nigerians and the entire education sector an extraordinary initiative, TERRAS, the Tertiary Education Research 
applications and services platform. Our mission is simple yet transformative to revitalize and fortify the Nigerian tertiary education landscape as promised by our dear president by providing an all-encompassing platform that consolidates essential services under one roof. Other services available on the platform are sponsored mobile internet access, Eagle Scan for plagiarism checking, aggregated journal and research subscriptions including EBSCO, Blackboard Learning Management System, Digital Literacy, and Communication Skills. In his remarks, the Secretary General Committee of the Vice Chancellors of Nigerian Universities, Professor Yakubo Ochefu, lauded Tedfan for making the all important terrors a reality. He urged the federal government to invest more in broadening its scope in order to make the platform open to all Nigerians as a prelude to us making terrors one of the best repositories in the world. On his part, Ted Fund Director of ICT, Mr. Joseph Odo, noted that since ICT interventions for institutions were stepped up in 2016, the agency had invested heavily in digital literacy programs and the rebuilding of institutional websites. The fund's online learning system, culminating in Blackboard Management Learning Management System, have all fused into terrors. <laughs> In his unflagging efforts towards attaining global best practices in education delivery in the third tier sector, the TED Fund recently unveiled its plans on the implementation of enhanced Blackboard Learning Management System and Train the Trainer program as a veritable way of boosting online academic pursuits across the strata of tertiary education institutions in Nigeria. At a three-day workshop organized by the Fund in Abuja for Directors of Information and Communications Technology, ICT, from 253 beneficiary institutions across the country, participants were informed that the platform will provide more than 2 million students and staff of higher education institutions with massive access to online academic resources. Highlighting the importance of Blackboard Learning Mode, Mr. Adedeji Michael Ladipo, of Pole Global Marketing and Dr. Andriano, both are a senior consultant, Anthology, said the program will ensure the nation's tertiary institutions compete effectively with their contemporaries on the global stage. TED Fund has for a couple of years been the main driver in terms of intervention for Nigerian universities and what we're doing here now is implementing a learning management system and what the learning management system does is improves the efficiency and effectiveness of education delivery for Nigerian universities. So if you look at it from a lecturer's point of view, the ability to upload content as their curriculum um, to mark tests, exams, communicate with their students almost basically in real time, online, offline, whether you have internet or not. The whole idea is, is that we've got a room full of IT directors from all higher education institutions in Nigeria. So they are going to use one learning management system, which is Blackboard Learn Ultra. And what we are doing here is to help them to get acquainted with the system, but also to show to them how a journey will look like for a student on the Learn Ultra, but as the instructor, but also for them so that when they go back to the institutions, they understand what are their roles, their responsibilities, what resources should be in place for them. Given his remarks at the occasion, Executive Secretary Architect Sony STH Cherno said the move was part of measures put in place to bridge the digital skills gap in the beneficiary institutions. As you are aware, the fund is not only committed to digital literacy in particular, but to the transformation of our education landscape by leveraging on ICT. To this end, we have commenced various programs, including the thesis digitization program, the beneficiary identity management system, BIMS, our tertiary education research and application system, the TERRAS, the Consolidated Library Access Platform, we call it CLAP, the Aggregated Journal Subscription from EBSCO, Online Blackboard, which we are here for, Sponsored Mobile Internet Data on and off campus for our students, the Remote Monitoring, including of projects, the BPP Compliance Portal, 
amongst many other ICT-related initiatives. These programs will deliver significant value to the ICT landscape of our beneficiary institutions. He said the model will eliminate the cost of subscription and technical overheads fronted by each of the beneficiary institutions for the aggregated services with attendant benefits. The participants were full of appreciation for TED Fund for the worthy curse, even as they chorused the huge benefits it will bring to bear on learning in the beneficiary institutions. The workshop organized by TED Fund to build capacity uh, in terms of the learning management system, the Blackboard learning management system, uh, I think it's one of, the, one of the commendable initiatives that the fund is bringing to our tertiary institutions. The good thing about this platform is the efforts TED Fund are putting to make sure every university buys into this plan. And just like the executive secretary explained during his opening this morning, he's talking about the plan that will subsequently unfold on how they can fund this initiative. I will want to really appreciate and commend and sincerely thank the executive secretary of TED Fund for the interventions he's bringing to ICT in our tertiary institutions. The Tertiary Education Trust Fund, TED Fund, recently organized a two-day interactive program for the unions of beneficiary institutions drawn from public universities, colleges of education, and polytechnics to discuss their roles in promoting and sustaining the delivery of quality education in Nigeria's tertiary institutions. Speaking at the interactive session, the fund's steersman noted that the program was conceived as a proactive engagement taking cognizance of the challenges currently besetting the subsector. He said there will have been little or no effectiveness in the nation's larger education sector without the notable contributions of unions such as ASU, ASUP, COASU, and non-teaching institutions in the mold of NASU, SANU, NAT, among others. In his remark, the president of the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, Professor Emmanuel Oshodek, lauded the TED Fund for the move in bringing all stakeholders together as a way of repositioning tertiary education in Nigeria. He also seized the moment to advise the agency to bring to book institutions not utilizing the funds allocated to them in judicious manner. As well, Nigerian Labour Congress NSC President Mr. Ayuba Waba, who spoke on the topic, the role of trade unions in TED Fund's activities at the event, commended the agency for its commitment in elevating tertiary education in Nigeria, noting that the Congress had been a beneficiary of ideological and constituency of the unions in tertiary institutions. The TED Fund has a duty to ensure the provision of adequate supply of infrastructure, material and equipment promote research and publication in our tertiary institutions, and provide opportunities for academic staff training and development of lecturers and non-academic staff in our universities. This mandate of the fund is at the heart of a viral tertiary education system. <laughs> The joy of the people and government of Gombe State was stoked recently when various projects, namely faculties of pharmaceutical sciences, education, arts, social and management services, law, female hostels 3 and 4, university clinic, and 250 capacity drama theater, among others, were commissioned at the Gombe State University GSU. The project's cost, totaling a princely 4.5 billion naira, was financed by the TED Fund as a way of boosting the infrastructure setup and also significantly enhancing the teaching and learning culture of the 19-year-old university. Gombe State Governor Lahaji Muhammadu Inua Yahaya, who could barely contain his ebullience at the commissioning ceremony, went down memory lane when he, as a state finance commissioner in 2004, served as a member of the planning and implementation committee of the university. Please, Mr. John, extend our gratitude and appreciation to the federal government for being very supportive. If I turn and maybe name Gombe State University, to be a third fund university, I think um, I can be justified for the fact that close to 85% of the infrastructure, especially the buildings of this university, were those that were contributed by TED Fund. 
So we thank you very much. And we pray that God Almighty will lead you and Tedfan to greater heights. So as we hold these events, please go with a completely set in mind that you found in us partners in progress and friends in deed and in need. The government commissioned the building housing the Faculty of Education, whilst other facilities were commissioned by the Minister of Transportation, Senator Seidu Ahmed Alkali, who represented President Bola Ahmed Chinubu and Honorable Aisha to Jibru Duku, amongst many other dignitaries. Ted Fon's executive secretary in his remarks noted that Gombe University enlisted as a beneficiary institution in 2006 and has since accessed more than 15 billion naira in intervention funds from the agency. <laughs> Far and wide, the Tertiary Education Trust Fund has always been applauded in its unwavering commitment to honing research and development in our educational institutions. For the fund, research and development is the linchpin for social development and it will always remain an important segment of its intervention lines. In a move to provide a vital backbone for research activities in Nigeria, the Tertiary Education Trust Fund, TED Fund, recently inaugurated an ad hoc committee on the establishment of central multi-purpose laboratories in select Nigerian universities. The fund's executive secretary noted that innovative research with its attendant commercialization are no doubt the chief drivers of the economy and prosperity of forward-looking nations. According to him, the agency is deploying billions of naira to fund research programs and projects with a view to deepening the institutionalization of research and development to tackle national challenges. It was observed that some of these scholars who have benefited from the INRF grants have often requested that to complete the execution of the research projects may require them to cross international borders to access certain facilities and equipment due to lack of requisite research facilities in our institutions. In some cases, these tend to affect the financial burden associated with the research projects, coupled with time expended for traveling. Besides, a substantial percentage of every NRF project budget is dedicated to the procurement of certain laboratory equipment and consumables. Our feedback from other third form research interventions, such as the mega research grants, also indicates that the large percentage of the budget is being allocated to the procurement of laboratory equipment and consumables with all the associated challenges that come with it. Architect Echiono said the committee, with the former Vice Chancellor of the University of Ibadan UI, Emeritus Professor Olufemi Bamiro, as chairperson, has one month to submit his report. In his acceptance speech, Professor Bamiro, who commended the Executive Secretary for setting up the committee, said the multi purpose laboratories will surely go a long way in rejuvenating research and training in research in Nigeria. He also expressed the readiness of the team to deliver on the assigned task within the specified time frame. I said, permit me to commend you, sir, for the composition of the committee to ensure the implementation of the assignment in line with the stipulated terms of reference. The committee, like the assignment, is multidisciplinary in nature. With experts, I mean really experienced experts. In this committee, drawn from areas of food science technology, energy, engineering, parasitology, medicine, biochemistry, nuclear physics, and architecture. I do not see any area of research endeavor that can expose, escape the eagle eyes of the members of this committee. It is heartening to know that the team indeed worked within the specific time frame and had since submitted its report to the fund. The governor of Kaduna State, Malam Ubasani, and his Oshun counterpart, Senator Ademola Adeleke, recently paid separate visits to the TED Fund Management and its headquarters in Meitama, Abuja. 
The Kaduna State Governor commended the efforts of the fund in ensuring that tertiary institutions in Kaduna State and across the nation are provided with essential infrastructure to make learning easier. He also seized the opportunity the visit provided to solicit for more assistance for the state as he outlined other areas of need. We in Kaduna have been following the progress made so far by the ES platform and we're here first to appreciate his effort particularly in Kaduna, as well as uh, what he has done across the country. As someone who has uh, been in the National Assembly until a few months ago, as a senator, I have followed all the progress made by the Ted Fund in trying to support the development uh, of education in particular across the country. And I'm here to say that uh, we're highly impressed by what uh, Telephone have done uh, under his every leadership. And of course, we are also here to ask for more support and intervention in Kaduna State. Having said that, uh, we also are here to ask for more intervention and support uh, in some of the very key institutions in Kaduna State. Responding, the Executive Secretary Architect H. Chiono thanked the Governor and his team for the visit and intimated that the sum of 550 million naira, a special intervention, was released a few days before their visit to Kaduna State College of Education, Gideon Wire. The College of Education you mentioned, indeed, we already just, as you were mentioning, the issue of security there. I can confirm to you that a matter of weeks ago or some days ago, we released 550 million to them to address the issue of security. I want to particularly express our appreciation to the state government. As I did uh, acknowledge in our stakeholders meeting recently, Kabra is one of the states that we have enjoyed some of the most support. Oshu State Governor Ademola Adeleke, in his remarks, was full of appreciation for TED Fund for the critical support they have been extending to public tertiary institutions across the nation. According to him, there is not one government tertiary institution lacking in TED Fund's presence in Nigeria, and it is therefore fitting that the board and management be commended for the great job they are doing. Governor Adeleke seized the moment to seek for more support from the fund, even as he noted that the level of education has dropped in his state when compared to others. I'm here to thank the agency for the support for Osho State. And of course, to come and ask for more. But we still need a lot of, uh, because our education has been dropped. And of course, I must, I said, well, Maybe I've not come to see you. Maybe that's why you're not paying attention to what you said. Maybe you better come over and appreciate you in person than calling you. And so that's why I'm here. You guys are doing a great job and I want you to continue. I mean, good luck, continue to bless you. That's a great job. We need more, need more support. Whilst appreciating the governor for his visit, Architect Echuno noted that tertiary education plays a very important role in the affairs of a nation as it remains the plank on which the greatest level of production, creativity and the greatest impact rests. He stated that the fund will keep supporting Oshun State in its drive towards laying a solid education foundation for its citizens and Nigerians at large. We believe strongly that tertiary education plays special role in the affairs and even the destiny of any country. Because that is at the level we are the greatest level of production, creativity, the greatest impact happens. Whether it's in terms of new ideas, in terms of new products and services, in terms of better ways of doing things. And so if we get our tertiary education right, we can even export that to other African countries and indeed other parts of the world. To various stakeholders in the education sector, 
the Tertiary Education Trust Fund is leaving the creed of Winston Churchill, who postulated that the empires of the future are the empires of the mind. There is no doubt that the words of the sage is propelling the fund in its relentless drive towards developing the minds of the student's population in the tertiary education space for the socio-economic advancement of Nigeria today and in the future. Thank <laughs> you.